Welcome back to Real Feels with Eric Kahila. Today on Real Feels, we're going to be using Pick One again, and we're going to be picking a topic of conversation. What should we talk about? Let's find out. Pick one, yeah. Why do you react? Why do I react? What do you mean, why do I react? Like, why am I reactive? I don't know, to be honest. Blame it on conditioning, blame it on growing up. What makes you tick? What upsets you when you go out into the world? Like, honestly, why do you react? Why do I react? I think it's like a stimulus thing, to be honest. I think I have a zero tolerance for BS, to be honest with you. Like, I really just do have a zero tolerance. Like, I just don't deal with it at all. Like, at all, for anybody. And if you do, like, good for you, but I don't at all. And like, I think that's why I react. The way that I do but I'm learning now not to react like that's the thing is I need to like not react and I'm not reacting because what's the point in reacting like really what are you gonna prove by reacting to the fact that you've been bothered by something what is that gonna prove to the other person that you're bothered that means you still have somewhat of a concern or a care or a need for their approval because you wouldn't be emoting otherwise right like why are you trying to give like that look why are you trying to like either do the silent treatment or be like super loud and aggressive or you know whatever why why and you can't blame it on like your astrological sign and you can't blame it on the stars and you can't blame it on the energy okay because hello really first of all don't even tell me okay i'm right there with you a hundred percent however you can't let that be your ruling guide to living your life people you have to use that as like a roadmap, not as like a dictation to life granted there are meanings to numbers and to you know the signs that are out there and i'm a hundred percent there to be with you on like woo woo guru right there a hundred however you need to be aware and select of what you choose to like give meaning to because everything is arbitrary and things will have meaning only because you assign a meaning to it if you want to attach a meaning to something because it means something to you because you want it to mean that to you that's why it means what it means to you but if you don't want it to mean anything to you it won't mean anything to you because you're choosing it not to hello does that even make sense do you follow me are you with me i'm handing it to you like on a platter okay people talk about like numbers in sequence okay and some numbers are attributed to like really good feelings and people see other sequence of numbers in like negatives and they feel like something bad with that and i'm thinking to myself okay well why do you think that to make that your main thought choice you know why why are you going there in your mind like what's making you want to go there you know what i mean you don't have a reason to go there but ultimately it's not even about you know what the number is even really evoking anymore because it's only evoking what you want it to evoke it's only meaning what you want it to mean as opposed to saying, oh, that's going to give me good luck or that's going to be like a really empowering number. People choose to do what they want to do with what they do, right? Do what you will. Harm none. Have at it. Why waste your energy and like reacting? Honestly, what's the point? If you react, you're only giving the other person more power. You're giving away your power because let me put it to you this way. Even if this is your reaction or the or 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 it doesn't really matter but you're reacting and that minor energy that you're putting into that defense mechanism is still a powerful energy that you're wasting why why because you're trying to drop a point you're trying to show the world or the person you have to let it be live and let live people live and let live okay and that's how you become a better you that's if you notice how people are becoming better them is because they are doing them they are living and letting live those of you out there who are not letting and let living and are like doing what you want to do because you do it what you do focus on you but i react because of like conditioning i think i was raised by like tired people you know, like, I think they were just tired by the time it came to me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not blaming anyone, but I'm, like, just saying, like, really? Like, I came in, like, the middle of season four. Do you know what I mean? And it's, like, when you come in the middle of, like, someone's season and they're not ready for you, they'll just, you know, keep you, like, into the shade, you know? And that's why you become made into shade. I heard that. Don't be using me as a reference. Sorry, okay. I was just making a reference. Be a better you for you. You know... Don't carry your past with you as like a reason for being who you are, okay? If your past made you, then good for you. At least something made you. At least something influenced you to be a better you for you so you can actually keep going and keep carrying on that purpose that you have, right? But if you don't, then what are you doing? 
You need to rediscover yourself, people. Rediscover yourself. Find out what you love to do when you were a little kid. What did you love to do? What did you always dream about doing? What uplifted you in a happy way? What made you feel at peace with your spirit, you know? Look into that. Look into what makes you feel creative again. I guarantee you that if you tap into your creativity, you will always find happiness because creativity is what really sparks true happiness. Oh, hello, like hello, really? That's why I'm doing what I do. Creating makes me so happy. It really does. And I can't wait to share with you so much more of what I have in store. And I thank you all for joining me on Real Feels. Tune in for more. This is Eric Kahila and Made Into Shade here on Real Feels, and we'll catch you on the feel side.